Well, hello again everybody. The last attempt to do this chapter yesterday there was not enough volume so I had to take it off my Insights audio channel on YouTube. But here I am doing it again. Hopefully this time the volume will be much better. This is taken from Jasher Insights Book 2, Chapter 41. And this is really about Joseph right before he was getting sold into slavery by his brethren. And at the revolution of the year, the sons of Jacob journeyed from Shechem, and they came to Hebron, to their father Isaac. And they dwelt there with their flocks and herds they fed daily in Shechem. For there was there in those days good and fat pasture, and Jacob and his sons and all their household dwelt in the valley of Hebron. And it was in those days in that year, being the hundred and sixth year of the life of Jacob, boy, people lived a long time then, 3,700 years ago, 3,800 years ago, in the tenth year of Jacob's coming from Paddan Aram, that Leah, the wife of Jacob, died. And she was 51 years old when she died in Hebron. Here are some specifics. Jacob was 106. He ended up dying at 146. His wife, Leah, died being only 51. Her sister, Rachel, had already died when she was 46. Now, why did God allow both of his wives to die so young, one might ask? Well, according to this book of Jasher. What about his two concubines? Rachel's handmaid was raped by Jacob's son Reuben secretly in the darkness of the night, after which Jacob did not go into her anymore. As for Leah's handmaid and Jacob's second concubine, what happened to her? Well, that remains to be seen in this story. Yeah, the book of Jasher is very graphic about details. It doesn't... Uh, it doesn't uh, bar any courtesy. <laughs> it just tells things exactly as they were. Quite amazing. Verses 3 to 6. And Jacob and his sons buried her in a cave of the field of Machpelah, which is in Hebron, which Abraham had bought from the children of Heth for the possession of a burial place. And the sons of Jacob dwelt with their father in the valley of Hebron, and all the inhabitants of the land knew their strength, and their fame went throughout the land. And Joseph, the son of Jacob, and his brother Benjamin, the sons of Rachel, the wife of Jacob, were yet young in those days, and did not go out with their brethren during their battles in all the cities of the Amorites. And when Joseph saw the strength of his brethren and their greatness, he praised them and extolled them, but he ranked himself greater than them, and extolled himself above them. And Jacob his father also loved him more than any of his sons, for he was a son of his old age. And through his love towards him, he made him a coat of many colours. Comment 2. Favouritism. Definition. The practice of giving unfair preferential treatment, or preferential treatment, to one person or group at the expense of another. Verses 7 through 9. And when Joseph saw that his father loved him more than his brethren, he continued to exalt himself above his brethren. And he brought unto his father evil reports concerning them. And the sons of Jacob, seeing the whole of Joseph's conduct towards them, and their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him all the days. And Joseph was seventeen years old, and he was still magnifying himself above his brethren, and thought of raising himself above them. Comment 3. Spoilt. It's very clear here that Jacob spoiled Joseph because he was a son of his favorite wife, Rachel, who had already died. He obviously very much missed his wife, Rachel. Verses 10 to 14. At that time he dreamed a dream. And he came unto his brothers, 
talking about Joseph, of course, and told them his dream. And he said to them, I dreamed a dream, and uh, behold, we were all binding sheaves in the field, and uh, my sheaf rose and placed itself upon the ground, and your sheaves surrounded it and bowed down to it. Yeah, that's how it should be. And his brethren answered and said to him, What means this dream that thou didst dream? And so imagine thy heart to reign or rule over us. And he still came and told the thing to his father Jacob. And Jacob kissed Joseph when he heard these words from his mouth. And Jacob blessed Joseph. And when the sons of Jacob saw that their father had blessed Joseph and kissed him, in other words, they're expecting Jacob, their father, to rebuke Joseph, being a brat. But he didn't. He just kissed him. I think Jacob sensed that there was something about what Joseph was saying. There was something there that was real. He could sense the Spirit of God. Joseph knew it was, he was going to be somebody great in the future. But he couldn't handle it when he was 17 years old. His pride couldn't handle it. He was inexperienced. And when the sons of Jacob saw their father had blessed Joseph and had kissed him, and he loved him exceedingly, they became jealous of him and hated him the more. And after this, Joseph dreamed yet another dream and related the dream to his father in the presence of his brethren. I think that was a pretty stupid thing for Joseph to do, go around boasting what he dreamed of, especially when he knew the comportment of his brethren, and they were kind of rough crowd. <laughs> and Joseph said unto his father and brethren, Behold, I have dreamed a dream. Behold, the sun and the moon, even the eleven stars, bowed down to me. His father heard the words of Joseph in his dream, and seeing his brethren hated Joseph on account of this matter, Jacob therefore rebuked Joseph before his brethren on account of this thing, saying, what meaneth this dream which thou hast dreamed, and this magnifying thyself before thy brethren, who are older than thou art? Dost thou imagine in thy heart that I, and thy mother, and thy eleven brethren, will come and bow down to thee? That thou speakest these things? Comment 4. I and thy brethren, thy eleven brethren. No, I and thy mother, and thy eleven brethren. Here there seems to be a mistake, as Jacob mentions Joseph's mother Rachel as being there with him, when she had already died, some time before at the birth of Benjamin, her second son. The only explanation could possibly be that Jacob was referring to Bilda, the handmaiden of Rachel, who was also now one of Jacob's concubine wives. Verse 17. And his brethren were jealous of him on account of his words and dreams, and they continued to hate him. And Jacob reserved the dreams in his heart. Ah, so Jacob was believing. Well, maybe there's something to what Joseph's saying. He's just going about it the wrong way, stirring up trouble with his brethren. But is there something in what he's saying about his own future, Jacob's thinking? Comment 5. And Joseph, at 17 years old, acted like a typical spoilt brat, had no control over his tongue or his pride didn't seem to bother him by the fact that his brothers got angry at the things he related to them. Having the prophetic dreams at this early age of 17 only lifted Joseph up in pride. He also being obnoxious in his communication with his brethren because his father allowed him to feel superior to his brothers. The things that he was to have to go through because of being spoiled in eventually being sold as a slave into Egypt by his brethren, ending up as a slave for many years, then imprisoned for three years down in Egypt. Very hard learning process for Joseph. And yet, it was all part of God's greater plan. <clears throat> Romans 8.28 And we know that all things work together for good, to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Yes, I'm convinced of that. There's a purpose in every person's life. God molds his people. He works on them. We just have to be yielded. Find out what God wants us to do. What's his purpose with our lives? That's the important thing to find out in life. Verses 18 to 26. 
And the sons of Jacob went one day to feed their father's flock in Shechem, for they were still herdsmen in those days. And whilst the sons of Jacob were that day feeding in Shechem, they delayed, and the time of gathering in the cattle was past, and they had not arrived. And Jacob saw that his sons were delayed in Shechem, 